Hey guys, I love you and Jesus loves you. If you don't know already, my name is Kenya and welcome to 25 Days of Christmas where I am attempting to do a video every single day up until the 25th day of December. So today's video, we are going to talk about five Bible plans that have impacted my life and I think will help you in your life as well. But before we get into it, if you are on your walk with Christ and you are looking for some more resources, I have a free ebook available in the description box below it features scripture prayer a bonus and a whole bunch of resources that have helped me so now getting into today's video like i've mentioned in some previous videos i personally have a love hate relationship when it comes to devotionals but i do know devotionals can be a helpful tool in understanding the word seeing how god can move based on that scripture so let's just go ahead and hop right in make sure you comment down below your favorite bible plan in the bible app so i can check it out and other people can check it out also okay now let's hop right into it the first plan is the sacred search by gary thomas here is what this book is about Taken from his book, The Sacred Search, best-selling author Gary Thomas challenges you to think beyond finding a soulmate and look for a soulmate, S-O-L-E, someone who will walk with you on your spiritual journey. Great insights on relationship, dating, boyfriends, and girlfriends, ensuring that you share a spiritual mission, not just skin-deep attraction. That plan actually led me to get the book that me and my boyfriend are reading right now called The Sacred Search. It's like the full book this devotional is based on that book but i read a devotional first the devotional was like fire like it was really good it made me think about a lot of things it was while i was on the tail end of the whole situation ship thing it just really made me think like okay it made me think about the kind of person that i want to actually be in a relationship with it really snatches you together so if you are in a relationship and you're just feeling like maybe this one isn't the one or dating slump or you're in your singleness season at the end of the day you know that you do want to be married one day i would definitely read this devotional and get the book too the second one is going to be redeeming the feminine soul femininity is a very big thing on youtube right now for women and everything and i was getting so engulfed in that i was like okay well let me take a step back how does god see femininity how does he want me to go about femininity um biblically what does femininity look like so i did that plan and here is what the description says popular national radio host julie Roy's offers an affirming and compelling vision for women that will challenge you to reclaim what is uniquely feminine and to become all that god designed you to be each day's reading is drawn from julie's book redeeming the feminine soul this devotional was very good i gave it five stars it is really cool to see like what biblical femininity looks like and how I can apply it to my life. All the details, the writing was very good. The scriptures were very good. I was trying to be more feminine or learn about being a biblical woman. Highly recommend that plan. Grabbing some water. Hi, puppy. Say hello. That's puppy. So moving on to the next one, it's called Chosen by Esther, Seven Days of Purpose. And it says, Esther did not have a typical queen's backstory. She was an orphan living in a strange land with her kind cousin Mordecai. The world overlooked her potential, but God did not. God qualifies unqualified. Esther became queen and overcame unbelievable circumstances, all because of a single truth, a truth that applies to us well. A truth that applies to us as well. God has chosen us for this very moment. Begin discovering today how to live out your unique calling. So that one's a really good one. If you are trying to understand your purpose, understand your calling, you feel like you are unqualified to do something or you're scared to even go in a certain direction that's a really great plan for that the thing i love about the book of esther is like god isn't mentioned in the book 
but it's like you can you know he's there you know his presence is there you know that he is moving throughout the whole thing all right and now for the last one it is leadership lessons from nehemiah and this one is a 10-day plan but it's worth every second of those 10 days so nehemiah is a really good book it just really shows how god is mind-blowing especially when you dive into prayer dive into fasting and just press into him and lean on what he tells you to do but the basis of this plan in particular is that the person that wrote this they wrote it on the basis of entrepreneurship skills and leadership skills i decided to use this plan because i wanted to work on my leadership skills because that is something that i aspire to be is a good leader and this is what it is about. Nehemiah was a visionary leader, innovator, and statesman. I believe that the book of Nehemiah is as good an entrepreneur's case study as any I use in the classes I teach at Carnegie Mellon. It offers lessons in leadership on par with well-documented examples of exemplary leadership from modern CEOs. Over the course of this 10-day study, we are going to learn by studying the life of Nehemiah. Yes, that is the last one. Please make sure that you comment down below a plan, a Bible plan, or devotional that you really enjoy and that has shaped your life so we can get that same information that you got as well. And then make sure you like for the algorithm and subscribe for more content. And if you have any video suggestions or anything like that, please leave them down below or message me on Instagram DMs and I will be sure to answer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!